being a, a sort of Earl's Court lifer um, from, uh, from a very young age, um, uh, one of the biggest events of the year was always the Brit Awards at the Exhibition Centre. Um, and uh, it went on and on. It's one of those things because it was so close and you live just five minutes away, you think, yeah, no, I'll do that, I'll do that some, some year. And I never did. And then finally, you know, um, a few years ago, it, it suddenly it dawned on me that this was going to be the last Brit Awards at the Exhibition Centre. There was going to be no more. I hadn't got tickets and I was watching on my little TV in my kitchen um, just, in, uh, um, just off the old Brompton Road. And um, I'm thinking, what am I doing? I've got to do something about this. This is my moment. So um, I'm watching Kylie Minogue on the TV, and I'm thinking, no, come on, balls up, Brown. You've got to, uh, got to go and do this. So I found a hat. I thought that would make me look quite cool. I put on a dinner jacket and a T-shirt because I thought that sort of made me look fairly like artsy. Um, and I um, sort of paddled my way down to uh, the Warwick Road, uh, where the you know the Brit Awards were sort of halfway through. And I just thought to myself, look, let's just go for this. So I get to the front gate and I, and, uh, I sort of tip my, tip my hat at the doorman and he sort of lets me through, uh, through the gates and I get to the front door of the exhibition centre and again I just sort of stare the chap straight in the eye and just wave and he opens the door for me, no ticket shown. And then I'm into the arena and so, so then it's, I, I'm, I'm sort of finding my way round the inner sort of um, the outer rim of the arena and can't actually see the stage and I think well yeah, I'm here now let's just go for it. So uh, as I go round I see VIP entrance so I thought well I've got a hat on you know. So um, I get to the, the sort of the, the rope and the security guard and again sort of you know opens the gate, yeah, and up the stairs, and then suddenly I'm standing next to David Walliams and Matt Lucas, and Kylie Winogue's actually in the VIP bit, and we're watching, I don't know, who, whoever it was, actually, you know, suddenly the music didn't really matter, I was sort of standing there, and then I lost all of my confidence completely, because then I suddenly realised, I'm not meant to be here, I'm a complete imposter, um, so I sort of stood there for about sort of ten minutes and nodded my head, and people sort of smiled at me and nodded and thought, who is that? And um, then I left. Um, so um, it was a sort of a moment of great confidence um, and yet uh, a real anticlimactic end.